Welcome back, everybody, to episode 11 of this Let's Play of Gordian Quest. My name is Gracian. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching this series with me. And I really hope you will like and subscribe if you're enjoying my content. In our last episode, we beat a boss. We entered a realm gate and appeared on level 2 or in the Twisted Territories. And we have uh, double cursing. When we get cursed, we're trying to avoid that. Um, we also have a Lich as our final boss, which I have not seen. So that'll be really cool. So we're going to head on down to this deadly encounter with these two like mini boss guys, a uh, spite fiend, the skeleton and spite talon, the bone warrior. OK, and we're going to get a fate on the way. So here we go. Uh, OK, all right. This guy's not tough. No weaknesses. This guy resists physical. Takes extra fire. He's going to hit Alphonse for kind of a lot. Uh, we could, like, put fill the area with bombs and try to let's put, like, caltrips, gas trap. Let's bola shot him, and there's a two in three chance he's going to shift into one of these traps. Of course. I mean, why, <laughs> why, why wouldn't he go back there? Ah, uh, you butt. Let's deflect and uh, get over here. We're going to put Catherine in the way if we can. She should be able to shift. She has lots of uh, st strategy points. Okay, let's uh, pool of blood. Pool of blood. You should heal up from that a little bit. Now, we want to shift you over. Oh, but this guy's in the way too. Okay, let's do this. Get a temporary healing card. Damn it. Heal self. I don't want that. Shoot. I guess he's going to have to take it because there's no guard over here. What was this? In an adjacent lane, move to target lane. Well, now Kath is going to take a buttload of damage. Well, there's really nothing I can do. Somebody's got to take the damage. Okay, she he died on the trap. Is guarding and doing a knockback now. That was a lot of damage. So what do we want to do here? We can lure him into this gas trap. We can actually, we can actually trip wire here, and then we could lure him into this. Now he's dazed. Do we have a movement? We do have a pitchfork, so we can caltrips here. And let's swap back with Catherine and, and turn. Now here we want to shift him onto the trap. We're gonna take a lot of damage from that. And then let's uh, let's move him onto the blood. And then let's swap with Catherine. Oh, he's gonna hit here. Move to the front row, deal nine damage to any Okay, that's okay. We'll, we'll, yeah, let's just do it now. Sorry, I'm not paying enough attention to what everybody's doing, am I? Uh, nine damage, so we do want to block that. But we also could get a temporary healing card for every channel. Now, we don't have any channel. So, we can't really do that. So, we might get some guard and some armor, and then we'll gain a channel here. Might have been able to kill him, actually, but that's all right. He's not going to do anything to us. All right, those guys hit reasonably hard, but we're not that tough. A belt, plus two to dexterity-based challenges. Challenges, the things I never see in this playthrough. Um, all right, dexterity-based challenges. We'll just go ahead and give that to Alphonse, who's going to be our designated dex boy. Skill grid time. Uh, master a skill. Let's master this Caltrips. 30% increased stats. Increased damage. Probably the damage. 
50% reduced stats value. Yeah, I don't care about the speed down, to be honest. I want... This is a lot of... Like, I want them to die when they step on these, these traps. So let's master that. This is pretty exciting. That's a really deadly trap. Okay, so we could reduce his deck size. Remove a skill from your deck. Is there anything we don't want? Is there anything we draw that we're like, I don't, I don't want this? Probably not, to be honest. So with him, we may have to go this away. Grab his dumb initiative point. Oh, we did get another tree here. We want to go up here next. Alphonse get one? He did. Let's get the trap one. Put it here. And I'm interested in getting like these nodes here. And then we go to there next. And then Catherine needs a, a skill. Let's learn a skill. Let's learn... Let's learn something defensive, maybe. Here's a, ba a basic strike. A shield bash. Lose your guard, applying it as vulnerable. Deal 14 damage to all targets in lane. Oh, boy. I don't really want these. Um, it might be the shield bash, because we can just use it to just deal 20 damage. If we Just don't, don't use our guard if we don't want to. And then you have another block. Holy warrior. There we go. Building our little skill blocks. So back to the map now. We have an easy fight coming up. Difficult terrain. We've got zombie skeleton and a bloated. Also, we're going to need some supplies pretty soon. Oh. Oh no, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, it's gonna birth more zombies or something? Please don't. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh. Catherine, do you have defense? You have defense. Cool. You don't get. You don't even have anything to do this turn. Dang. So we gotta. What are we standing on? Moving into this cell, because that's muddy. But it's okay, we can just stay here. So let's just... Just don't have anything to do. Alphonse. Don't really have much to do. This is going to be a really terrible turn, isn't it? Ooh, we drew one. Caltrip. Uh, let's put it... Here. Gas trap on his space and then we may try to shift some people around and then you need to use a little bit of blocking power or you didn't i could have just killed everything all right and turn he's birthing zombies oh all right sorry about your child okay we got defense here so we could um could move this one to here and daze him in his in this thing and then we can start we'll move him over here actually get the bleeding and then we'll put a pool of blood underneath him now Alphonse has a tripwire what's this pool of blood over here did I do this where'd this random pool of blood come from I don't remember doing that hmm After applying two bleed, create blood pool on a random enemy cell. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, bowl of shot. <laughs> Alright, Catherine. Let's, uh, let's fuck this thing up. Oh, you're actually going to hit. But only here. And there's no one there. Excellent.
He's bleeding out. These guys are struggling. Here's another zombie. Well, we're not going to let that happen. We're going to... Do you have a, a movement? Okay, so we need to shift you over to here. And we got to pitchfork this zombie onto here and kill it on the caltrips. And then I think there's a pool of blood under here. There is. So really, all we need to do is just make sure there's lots of pools of blood everywhere. So here's caltrips. What was this? Caltrips. There we go. Fun. Grab some gold. All right, now we're on to the next fight. Catherine really needs a chance to heal a little bit. Um, do we want to use a potion outside of combat to make sure she doesn't die? Because when are we going to camp next? Like, for real. Probably a long time. Um... Area contains crates. I love crates. Okay, we've rolled in. Now, Kudo actually went after the spider, which is a little bit unusual. But he's just guarding, so it doesn't matter. So, on to Alphonse. Now, we have a lot going on here. We've got a range attack on Catherine. Nine damage and poison. Nine damage and poison and more poison. So, we have to make extra sure that Kudo... Uh, barrier is up this turn. Going to be kind of a defensive turn. Now, Alphonse isn't going to be hit by anything, so we can do whatever we want here. No, that's not true. He's going to get hit by this. Crap. Let's slap down the, the gas trap uh, in hope that someone moves on to it later. He went before her. That's not good. Could have sworn everyone was after her. Darn. So she's not going to get hit by anything. So that means we can go ahead and uh, uh, smite this guy here. Oops, should have done that in the other order to get a healing card. My bad. Didn't even think about it. So we want to guard up here and not get poisoned to death. And then we'll just shift these two. Apply bleeding a couple times when we get a blood pool randomly. We didn't get one yet, did we? No. Aha, perfect. He's in the daze, so he's not gonna do as much damage, which means now we still need a couple of, yeah, darn. So we might want to caltrips this location lure that guy into it why couldn't i move him uh-oh i can't move the crates uh-oh can't i can't lure into the the cow trips that's not good well now i'm in trouble does that mean that if i put cow trips here then the only spot this one can move to is here nope it will it'll try to go one of these ways well that's not good so we have to shift over to here to stay safe. This guy's not going to hit anything now. This guy's going to go before Catherine again. Damn it. Stop taking damage on her. I gotta remember that. Shield block and armor. I'm just going to guard up a buttload because that'll persist for the next turn when this hits again and then we'll use um these other characters to actually do the damage here so we can pitchfork switch you to and we can actually switch you back and then pool of blood you
Okay. This hand sucks. What's happening? This is the worst hand I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. That's a channel. Now we could righteous blow. That would make the smite free. That's a lot of damage. That would actually kill this one off. Then we won't have any defense. So, but I think we we probably should, or we won't have enough block anyway. So let's kill this one, and then we can still smite for free. Smite these crates. Smite these crates for loot. And actually, now that frees up this cell for the caltrips, we can try to move somebody onto it. Uh, so we need to cast the shield block. And actually, we got 11 out of that, which is actually great. So we'll probably not take any damage. Now here we want pool of blood. Drain some health. Okay, so perfect. So we could actually we need to lure this one twice to kill it. And then we could slap some, we should just hit this guy. Oh, that'll kill him. I won't get a chance to get the crate. Can I get the crate? I can get the crate because I can move him couple of times. Can I kill him? I think so. Reveal a temporary healing card. Excellent. Actually, I really needed that. Cool. A little bit of gold. We got a legendary shield. Grants shield block. When you gain guard, grant two guard to adjacent allies. When you grant guard, recover one HP. Start battles with one armor, plus two guard with strength defense skills. Ooh, boy. Plus one dexterity. Field quiver. Okay. So Catherine has this sweet sword, but I think it's time to take this double-handed sword off so that we can actually give her the uh, the shield. Wish I could give you this great sword, Catherine. I really do. And then here, I have a quiver. I could give you the sword. You don't need this at all. There we go. Great sword on our blood warlock. Okay, so then off to the skill tree. Alphonse. We want to head on over to like another talent point probably. So let's get a uh, upgrade a skill. So we have another Caltrips to upgrade. It's probably going to be that. I mean, it's most of our damage comes from these. It's quite potent. Kudo, we want to gain a new skill. Let's grab a reaping skill. Create two blood pools on three random enemy cells that last two turns. Let's take that one. We don't want to end up with not enough blood pools on the ground. Or this one. This is good. I think we take this one. And then Catherine. Talent. We might want to give her more health. Or even restoring health on, sur on surviving battles. Let's go with maximum health for now. Uh, wow, that's a lot of health. Almost 50. And then we move on down to this next fight, which has a Dusk Stalker, some Sand Spiders, and a Scorpion. Consume two more of our supplies. I need to find a place to stock up. But we are getting lots of good experience here. Oh, crap. Catherine, why are you so fucking slow all the time? Okay. Oh, God. So we want to... 
weaken this guy with the gas trap so that we can guard all of the damage now. Drain two int. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Kudo's turn. So he's got... <laughs> Shit, there's a lot of damage coming through here. We can't even do all of that. So we don't want to shift this one. Because that'll hit Catherine before she can block. But this one, we can move. So let's move this one to here. Hello? Oh, that's melee, so I can't hit the ones in the back. Dang it. Okay, let's just Lake of Blood. Oh, it shows the three... Oh, it shows the three random cells. Cool. Okay. Uh, we... Well, good thing nobody's targeting her because we didn't get any freaking defense cards this turn. So it's some channel. Channel. Do some smiting. Took some damage, but he will heal a little bit from the blood pool enemies. Did he get the two intelligence? Not sure. Still enfeebled for a while. This encounter is kind of dangerous, I gotta say. Kudo, can you move anybody? You can. Uh, it has to be one of these two. That one's gonna go before him, so we gotta kill him off. And then we gotta get the hell out of here. These guys all go after, so we could get a little bit of defense. A lot of defense, actually. Let's do that on our turn. So we want to shift to here. We want to caltrips here. And we'll just tripwire like here. and then deflect. So kudo, we want to move. Tripwire. This guy goes first. So I messed that up a little bit, didn't I? Um, but now he's got this vulnerability on him so we can actually pitchfork him again. To kill it. There we go, cool. So now it doesn't get to... So nobody gets to attack before Catherine goes. Okay. So that means... Shield block. Oh, this is so much damage, though. I don't want to waste it on this little guy. Because I think we can... We can block everything with that much armor and defense, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chain men, heal an ally in your row for five HP. Well, it's gonna be me. And then just another defense. So no one's gonna get through this iron wall called Catherine. How you doing, Alphonse? Have you lost int, int this battle? Maybe. I don't. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I don't think he had 10. I wish I could see the um, the change on here, but I don't see it. Does it show this guy's increase? He's got a plus 8 intelligence modifier, so obviously he is getting that intelligence. That's crazy. Okay, so we got a little bit of damage coming in this way, but we can't do much about it. He's not going to hit anything, so don't have to worry about it. This one we do have to worry about. Poison we do not want. We cannot kill it, but we can block all of the damage. Okay, so don't have to worry about that. So it's just this guy who doesn't go until after Catherine, who does have some defense. Okay, so we can just do whatever we want with Alphonse. So we probably want to lure this guy closer. And then smack him. And kill him for some reason. We'll take it. Do I get my intelligence back yet? 
No. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use bone barrier, deflect, pool of blood, and then we're gonna heal based on that damage. Cool. Catherine's gonna get hit by, looks like nothing. Where's the heal? Oh, damn it, I have to have channel to use that. I keep forgetting. Okay. I don't really have any damage here. This is just all moving things around. So this guy's just going to do a little bit of guarding, but we can probably beat through that. Deal 20 damage. Oh, it's in our lane, so let's just scoot over to here and just hit him. There we go. All right, we are... Everybody's level 10. This is exciting. 12 gold? I don't have any reason to have all this gold, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, forge, purchase, or tinker with items you have. Shrine. Ooh, restore one fate. Permanently modify the world around you. Hmm. Probably want to go to the forge. I well, I need, like, potions and stuff, but maybe we'll find, like, some really crazy piece of equipment or something. There's supplies down here. I buy supplies. Let's do that. Give me all of them. You can also buy some incense. Um, I like using those. Here's some of these medicinal leaves. Let's buy all four of those. When used in battle, create burning ground on target for three rounds. Create a static field. Grants four immunity. Prevents the next X debuffs you would receive. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of money for that potion compared to these other ones. So this guy doesn't sell... weapons and armor he just sells crafting stuff you can enchant stuff and an item can only have one enchantment but it can be replaced at any time so let's pick an item let's pick our cool legendary shield it costs uh augment item costs 20 gold three orbs sure all right what do we get Plus one card draw every three turns. All right, fine with me. Guess we can't change this one without uh, these augurs orbs, which I bet he sells. He does, but they cost fate points to buy. Oh my God. You can also buy some runes for socketing. Now let's take a look. Do we even have that already? What's our rune situation like? We have like a couple, a few greens and a red. Attach skills retort, restore 2 HP on use. Some people don't even get skills from their cards. And by that I mean most. So we have some blue slots. Attach skills grant the spirited modifier. Effect 20% increase SP. No, I don't care. Attach skill gain the purge modifier. Remove a random debuff on self when played. I don't think I care about these. Now this is a gambit rune. Attach skills grant gain the limited modifier and cost SP instead of AP. Weird. That's weird. Attach skills will not be added to your deck. Ah, okay. Let's grab a fire flask. I think that's fun. Okay, well, I think we've about exhausted everything here that we want. Um, I'll grab one more of these. I just have so much money. Like, what else am I going to do with it, right? 
And let's go ahead and give a medicinal leaf to everybody that doesn't have one. You can have a fire flask. And you can have a medicinal leaf. Fire flask. Okay, cool. All right, so we're ready to leave the shop. And we can go down to this event. Okay. You overhear a familiar hymn of faith wafting through the air, following it to an old church on a hilltop. Inside, you find a congregation of clerics in prayer. You recognize them as enforcers, the order's arm of justice. Their leader invites you to spend some time with them before you leave. Join the prayer hall. Oh. Oh. You can pick who it is. Learn a skill. Learn a skill. Donate. Lose 20 gold. Gain one fate. Add a node. Nope. Take a moment to rest. Add a node modifier. Increase EXP. Area contains crates. Ooh, but learning a skill is pretty nice. Shit, I didn't mean to just click on that. <laughs> okay. Intervention. When an ally in your row takes damage, move to their cell, gain nine guard, and take the damage for them instead. Retain. Okay. Armor up. Passive. Whenever you gain root, gain three might. Interesting. Uh, let's redraw. Apply one blind for every five guard. 14 damage to all targets in a lane. What's a blind do? When blinded damage dealt is half as effective against guard. Oh, yeah. So if you blind somebody, they do less damage to your guard. So you don't have to generate as much guard. Fine. We'll learn that skill. We'll see if it's useful. As the day draws to a close, you thank them for their time and continue on your way. Continue on. So it looks like we have a choice between three supplies and a bunch of gold. Now this direction leads to a blessing and then a healing shrine. So that's probably the way we'll go. And then we could actually go to this deadly encounter, get a fate back and then head to the merchant before the final boss. That would probably be a good route to go. But that is something we will look at in the next episode because we are actually all out of time for this one. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you're enjoying my content and I hope I will see you in the next episode.